Happy Sunday. Welcome back to a brand new episode of I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Just a couple of things before we get into the episode. Firstly, you guys seem to be really enjoying the camera quality right now. Messed around with a few settings, got a few things sorted out, so that's awesome. Glad that you guys are enjoying it. Item right, so number two is the Discord. Now, you guys uh, already know we have an I Rate Your Teams Discord. Link in the description for the Discord. We're almost at 1,000 members, which is absolutely incredible very grateful for that uh in this discord i basically tell you guys when i'm recording i rate your teams uh and, and and sort of just important things you guys need to know for the episodes and whatnot we also have a room where you guys can post your teams and get feedback from everybody else uh these are just a few different teams that people have posted in here uh, you can post any team you want and get feedback on on what players to buy and things like that from other people in the discord Which is really cool. So uh, I highly recommend joining it now. Let's go back to your regular scheduled viewing uh, The first team is from Logan who says I played the second in game with Royce on get forward everyone untradeable and I have 300,000 coins Let's check it out. So you start with the four five one. It's a nice team It's a good setup uh, and you move into the four three three four actually this formation I was playing against it a lot is absolutely incredible to counter people that play really deep. Uh, I feel like it's really good at, at just pushing the attack forward. One thing I'd say with this formation, though, I'm not entirely sure I'm a big fan of playing Royce as a center mid. Uh, you do leave yourself very open and vulnerable uh, to counter attacks in this formation, which I feel like you are doing with, with playing Royce as a center mid. What I feel like you do here, I feel like you play Sane as your left wing. I feel like you play Royce and Cam in game, and you just change your center midfielder. Now, you're playing a Bundesliga team regardless. You have uh, 300,000 coins. Let's go and have a look for a Bundesliga center Center mid with 300,000 coins that you can use that can play as a center mid in game. Now, it's important that I feel like uh, you play with a box to box in that position because uh, a box to box is good at getting forward and getting back, um, and it will allow you to also uh, not be so vulnerable to a counter press or a counter attack. Um, so let's have a look what we're looking for here on Footbin right now. Uh, let's have a look for a decent box to box. Now, first things first, this card uh, sparks my interest. Good stats all round. He's a well rounded card. Uh, he's got good pace, good dribbling, uh, good shooting, good defending, uh, good passing, and good physicals. He's four star, four star as well, which is really nice and great stamina. So he's going to uh, not get tired at all. Uh, so I feel like Palacios could be a decent option for you. Uh, if you're looking for someone a little bit more defensive, I think you could go with Joshua Kimmich's CDM card or even, uh, I believe, Goretzka has a card. You can go with over here his 86 card uh if this is a card you uh you'd much rather go with if you want someone a little bit more uh you know he's gonna stay he's gonna stay back a little bit more because he's high medium um and he's gonna he's gonna defend a little bit more same with Kimmich both are a little bit more defensive although uh, obviously Palacios has better defending stats than Goretzka you know what I'm trying to say uh but I would highly recommend this card above all else uh great agility and balance uh great well-rounded stats I would uh, I'd definitely go for him next up we have Fenton's team he says hey I've got 150k Aguero and Aubameyang are the only tradables on the bench. Uh, Ramos and Varane, Alderweireld and Carvajal are the only tradables on the team. Love of the vids, uh, I will save up if needed. So you got 150k. Uh, first things first, I think you got to figure out how to get Alderweireld out of this team. He is not necessary for chemistry in the slightest and can go. With 150k, you don't have a whole host of different options. Uh, however, there are different options you could explore. Now... First things first, you haven't uh, included a picture of how you play in game. So if this is not how you play in game, which I really hope it isn't, you have Bartra that could play as a centre-back if you're playing a 3CB formation. Uh, if you're not, and you're subbing off older V-Road, you might as well play someone that gets full chemistry. Uh, you could go with, um, I believe Kurt Zuma has a Chelsea card this year. If I'm not mistaken, because he's back at Chelsea, so he should. Yeah, he has a Chelsea card. This card would get a link to Varane and to um, Marcus Alonso, and we'll get a full chemistry. So if you are just looking for a player to get full chem, I'd do this. But regardless of this, this team still needs a lot of work. Luis Suarez has got to go, in my opinion. Um, he's absolutely unnecessary in the team and just not a very good player, in my opinion, at all. Uh, looking at who you could go for here. Given that you've already done Litmanen, you do have a good amount of tokens left. You could go with the likes of Prime Kaka when the next set of tokens come out, and that would help you entirely. But the fact that you haven't sent me what you play in game and you haven't alerted how you play in game either, I really can't help you out much more than that, to be honest, because I have no idea looking at this how you set up in game. It's, it's almost impossible for me to figure this out. So I'm going to move past that. I would appreciate in future if you guys do send me or at least let me know how you play in game because I find that really hard to kind of work with because uh you know does Bartra go into a cdm role uh does luis suarez play a cam role you've got four attackers here as well as six defenders like 
what happens? What what like what is going on here? Um, which plays do you bring on? That kind of thing. So that's why it's super important. The next team coming from Barry, who says, Hi, Hable, hey, love the vids. This is my squad, and I've got 200,000 coins to spend. All tradable except for Komen and SBC cards. Second is in game. Third and fourth is my new idea, but which is better? I got you, bro. Let's check it out. I'm guessing Komen's from the mid icon pack, unless you did him from swaps a little while ago. Uh, look at this Look at this team. It's not a bad team. It's a good setup. Uh, yeah, I like I like how you start in that. Oof, why is that? Why was that so small? I don't know. Um, don't even comment on those words okay <laughs> i already i could already tell uh which one do i prefer out of this i would honestly say number two yeah this one's better in my opinion um yeah without a doubt this is better uh, than this in my opinion the only player that i i, I prefer in in this setup is adama Traore. if you can make it work then try to if you can't then that's totally fine in my opinion um but i do prefer this setup entirely to be honest uh, i really do just thought i'd also flex my team a little bit uh we're doing pretty well right now in champs five games eight goals seven assists for pele uh five games nine goals four assists for ronaldinho uh best is also getting in the action a little bit in five contributions in five games we have baby eusebio yeah i'm just flexing a little bit all right I have every right to, okay? You leave me alone. <laughs> no, but for real though, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you think there's any way I can prove my team. I've got like three mil. Next up is Liam Davies' squad. Uh, he says, untradables are Ronaldo, Gattuso, Dalbert, Tomiyasu, Florenzi, and Van der Sar. I've got 50,000 coins and I'm willing to save up. I'm also getting loud from icon swaps. Keep up the great content. Well, thank you very much, man. Uh, I don't know why it's super blurry. Uh, this is crazy. So you have an untradable team of the year, Ronaldo. That's pretty impressive. Uh, double check how many coins you got. You didn't say. Oh, 50k. Sorry, you did say 50k. Uh, with 50,000 coins, there isn't very much improvement you can make on this team in the slightest, to be honest. I mean, I think you know that as well. Um, realistically, I would probably aim towards upgrading your midfield. We have team of the season around the corner. So obviously, we'll have team of the season Syria in probably a month and a half. Um, that's when you're going to be looking, in my opinion, to massively upgrade this team. Until then, I would just kind of look out for some decent SBC, some good value here or there. Um, you know, from rewards, if you get untradable rewards and you get some high-rated plays, maybe you can even build towards a bit icon pack. Uh, I would say just sort of work towards... Um, doing slow upgrades because realistically with 50,000 coins, you really can't improve that team. Next team, I uh, can't even speak today. Next team coming from Geordie who says, I've got 500,000 coins. My uh, tradable cards are Alisson, Aubameyang, uh, Pereira, Kante and Pogba. I'm getting Dennis and Katuso from swaps. Love the videos. Keep it the good work. Well, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Um, okay. I would say with this team, I understand why you're getting Katuso. Um... Yeah, I do understand the team and, and, and why you're getting certain players. Uh, I would say, hmm, a difficult one. With 500k, there's definitely room for improvement. I think striker-wise, you could definitely improve your striker. I'm just trying to remember all the Premier League strikers off the top of my head before I look at icons because I feel like there's a Premier League striker I'm completely forgetting about. Uh, and I don't know who it is. Um, who am I forgetting about? With 500,000 coins, who can you go with in this team? That's an improvement to normal Aubameyang. Well, there's a lot of plays, actually. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's some that I want to look at more than others. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe you're right. Maybe there isn't actually that many amazing Premier League strikers. Uh, well, in, with 500k, I think Baby Zola's a good shout. Uh, I would say possibly even looking at the likes of... Um, See, it's a, it's a tricky one. Striker for me, I look for a pacey striker with good dribbling, a four-star, four-star. But other people like tall, uh, stronger strikers. Cliver is a striker that a lot of people really enjoy this year. Crespo is also a striker a lot of people enjoy this year. And although they tick the boxes of four-star, four-star and, and, and uh, fairly decent dribbling, I am more of a an enjoyer of nimble players as opposed to um as opposed to the taller players but a lot of people have different opinions so i would personally say look to get someone like uh zola but if if you prefer the taller players like about being the stronger players um get yourself someone like clive at a crespo both are decent options and both would fit pretty well into the team. Uh, the next uh, team is coming from Davis. who has got 100,000 coins and I'm willing to grind swaps and save. Tradables are Mane uh, and Larice, And I can barely even see the team. Lovely. I, the thing is, boys, I, I genuinely cannot rate this team. I don't know what happened in the process of, of you uploading this to Twitter. Uh, but it's just really blurry and really small. The reason why I don't accept these is because 
I genuinely can barely see them either. Twitter, it makes it really hard to see uh, non-HD images. That's half the reason why I don't accept non-HD images. Uh, the next team coming from Danu says, Hi, Haber, this is my team. I've got 30,000 coins and my trader was on Martial, Son, Mane, Robbo and Summer. I've got 15 tokens and I don't know how uh, who to get. I got Rykard from the Prime Icon Pack and would like Kante as my next upgrade. Love the vids, keep it the good work, man. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, well, yeah, obviously can't get Kante then. Uh, if, if that's who you want from your next upgrade, I'm not going to tell you to get somebody else that you don't want uh, if Kante is who you want. Uh, I'd also say try and upgrade your left back spot. Looking at it, obviously, you, you probably want to go with someone from the Premier League. Uh, but you could change up your entire left side in the upcoming future. Something I think you should work towards is getting the player moment Alexandro from uh, the the objectives. No, the, what's it called? The SBCs. I'm having a, a bad day. <laughs> uh, I would say get yourself uh, Alexandro from the SBC. Um, work towards him, grind him, get get towards him in, in the next like few weeks to months. And then get yourself a Brazilian left mid. Now, there are a few different options. Neymar is obviously one of them. Philippe Anderson is another. But I think that there's also a, a new SBC card that came out recently. Uh, I forget what his name is, but I'm going to find him for you right now and tell you who it is. I think his name's like Leonard. Uh, he looks really, really good. He's from one of the SBCs. Uh, and he's definitely worth having a look at because he's got some phenomenal in-game stats. This guy, Leonardo, very good pace, very good uh, dribbling, very good shooting, very good passing and very good physical stats. This guy is definitely one I would look at. He looks like a bit of a hidden gem for 145,000 coins. Plus whatever packs you get back, you might pack something good. You might make some coins back. This guy looks like he'd be absolutely phenomenal. Whack something like a hawk on him. He becomes a very good rated left mid or left wing. Uh, Marksman makes him even better. Sniper makes him even better. Deadeye makes him even better. Finisher makes him really good. Artist. There's a lot of different uh, chem stars you can add to this guy to make him absolutely phenomenal. It might be a good shout at just looking into because he looks like a really, really good card. Uh, and one that might fly under the radar a lot. Uh, the next thing coming from Matt, who says, I've got 600k and I'm willing to save as much as possible getting Dalgleish from Icon Swaps. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, okay. Uh, so you start this and you play this in game. Interesting. Um, right, okay. First things first, I would say weak links, in my opinion, are your two wingers. Now, they're not bad players, but I think you can do better. I honestly think you could do a lot better here. I personally reckon that Politano would be way better as a right wing slash central cam than Shakiri, And I personally think that you've got Verdi on the bench who'd be better than Orsic. Both of them are good players, but I think both of them are a little bit overhyped, in my opinion, this year. Um, I know that a lot of Liverpool players get overhyped a lot this year, and I think that Shakiri is one of them. Uh, and Orsic, although he's a free card, a lot of people seem to have a lot of gripes with him. And I've played against him a few times, and he hasn't really done anything for me, or against me, should I say. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of questioning the legitimacy of both of those cards. Uh, you have some good options on the bench though. I would say uh, carry on saving. Um, maybe look to upgrade your Guardiola. Maybe you can get someone like a uh, middle Petit uh, or a middle Makalele. Might not be bad shouts there. Uh, maybe even like a middle Balak if you look for someone a little bit more attacking. Um, so you could go with something like that and, uh, and upgrade your team there. But apart from that, I mean, you've got a nice team, mate. Uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, rush into upgrading it massively anytime soon unless you've got a really good player in the mix. Uh, the next team coming from Ben, who says, Hi, Haber, here is my team. All untradeable. Got Limited from Icon Swaps and then getting down Gleas with the rest of the tokens. Any improvements? And I'm willing to save up, keep it the good work. Well, thank you, bro. It's amazing how many people actually got Limited considering the Prime Icon Pack was nine tokens. Uh, obviously, you can't get the Prime Icon Pack and uh, and Dow Gleas, but it's amazing how many people got Limited considering a lot of people seem to not like Limited this year. And then all of a sudden, his Prime Moments comes out for a very, very low amount of uh, tokens. And uh, and so many people are going for him. It's, it's kind of funny, in my opinion. Uh, um, don't get me wrong, doesn't look like a bad card in the slightest, but he's 490k, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those, it's, it, it's very interesting to see, uh, how perspective changes when something's very easily obtained, is what I'm trying to say, and that's not, that's not shots or, or an insult or anything like that in anybody, that's literally just how I think perception of FIFA has always worked. Now, anyway, enough waffling, getting on to the team, uh, what I would say straight away is, Trying to figure out how you get full chemistry on this team. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, I don't like that message off chem. Now, you could swap Rooney and, and Raul and get Messi on chemistry. It would make a Cunha off chemistry. But, you know, that's uh, it swings and roundabouts, in my opinion. Uh, swings and roundabouts. Now, Dalglish is a good option. Um, the rest of the team, I think that a weak link could be uh, in the defense. 
Like, you've got some OP-looking players, but I use that Schultz and wasn't a huge fan of Schultz, and I think that you could possibly improve on that Schultz card. Um, just look around for left-backs that you do enjoy. I know that Wendell card is actually really good this year, so that could be an improvement. Um, but, no, it's going to look very nice when you get the uh, when you get Dalglish into the team as well. Uh, the next team is coming from Adam, who says, 20,000 coins, and my tradables are Tellez and Hernandez. I play the same in-game, and I'm getting Gattuso. Love your video. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, Gattuso is definitely needed. I think you've got to improve Jamie Vardy here as well, mate. I'd say go for uh, either Aguero or Aubameyang, whichever one you prefer. Really, I'm not a big fan of Jamie Vardy. You guys should already know that from the episodes. I just don't like him very much. I just don't think he's great, unfortunately. Um, alternatively, if you are a big advocate of Jamie Vardy, and you really enjoy him, and you, you do use him a lot, then fair enough. Um... Also, please change change Nabry down to a right wing at least or a right mid. Uh, get him on full full chemistry uh, and possibly look to start grinding towards that Alexandre card as your left back. Um, it'll take a little while, but you might get towards him quicker than you think. Uh, and I think that it'll definitely be worth the grind in the uh, in, in the long run, to be honest. Um, with rewards and things like that coinciding with maybe a bit of trading or just trying to get players cheaper, might work out in your favour. Uh, obviously, a lot of fodder right now is, is massively inflated due to the uh, mid-icon SBC. So um, just be smart with your coins, be smart with your players. Don't rush into anything and uh, take your time on things because... You know, good things come to those who are patient, and I think that being patient on FIFA right now could help you out in the long run. Uh, the next team coming from Drew, who says, Hey, it's Haber. This is my team. I've got about 140k to work with once my Vieri sells. I don't want to get rid of the Americans, as they are some of my favorite players. All the SBC cards and the cat are untradeable. I know my team's cheap, but I'm very bad at the game and can't win a champs game. <laughs> no worries, dude. Let's check it out. Uh, okay. Well, no, it's a nice team straight away. You know something that could work really well with this team, in my opinion? Um, if you were to swap McKenny and uh and how, how do i explain this so mckenny goes to center mid sergeant goes to cam and your center mid goes to striker okay you're with me so mckenny center mid sergeant right cam and i forget the, the belgian guy's name but he's at your striker spot so everyone's still on full chemistry then at your right center back spot go with the new opara card now it's going to take you a little bit of time to do the league sbc but you will get there eventually get that new opara card now if you guys don't know what opara card i'm talking about it is the best center back i have ever seen on any fifa ever bar maybe 99 van dyke this card looks disgusting 92 pace 87 defending 92 physical but not only that he's six foot two he's got high medium work rates he has got 97 agility 85 balance he's also got uh where is his uh passing stats he's got long 90 passing and 99 short passing 99 jumping 83 stamina 95 strength 92 aggression um his defending stats are also off the charts this card looks ridiculous now yes the sbc is about 250k maybe even more than that with uh, extinct players however you might have mls players already in the club you can grind towards it you can take your time with it as well knowing you've already got a center back in the position um and you don't have to con like change your team any more than usual. All you have to do is, is swap those players around, get Opara right centre-back, and then you just get a strong linking goal, and you can even sub the goalie out for De Gea if you need to. Uh, it, it's really going to be a massive improvement, in my opinion, like exponential levels of improvement to this team. Uh, I think you can definitely go with that and, and, and be rest assured that your team is looking very nice that's what i would do if i were you uh and i think that the rest of the team is looking pretty strong i like the improvements i really do uh next team coming from keaton who says hey haber not gonna lie i'm a bit annoyed about packing prime Akotcha. well then this is my team rogue lawyer have around 150k for improvements after rewards. second pick is while playing game and the third is an idea i like let's check it out uh you know what honestly give prime Akotcha a go uh i really do think you should give him a little bit of a try um the way I feel about a Prima Cotcher this year is that, yes, it's disappointing. Totally understand. However, he doesn't actually look that bad. And with the right chem style, could be a really nice looking card. Now, what I would do if I were you, uh, looking at the team, and obviously you want to try and bring in that Sancho, you can go to a narrow formation here very easily and bring in that Prima Cotcher. Um, Maybe you just play Prima Cotcher alongside another one of your uh, central players uh, and get rid of the other winger, which is Dan James. Or maybe play Dan James off cam as a central player. It's completely up to you. I think you should give him a go, though. I think he's a very good team. A uh, very good team. I think he's a very good player and actually could add value to your team. That's that's the way I feel about it personally. Uh, anyway, going to go for the last team now of the episode. It's going to come from Callum, uh, who says, Hey, Haver, got Nesta from my prime icon pack, W or L? Um, small W. I think that you could have done a whole lot worse, but you could have done a lot better as well. Uh, he says, SBCs and objectives are untradeable. Don't love my striker, Hernandez. Uh, I've got 300,000 coins for improvements, and I'm willing to save up. Let's check it out. 
Yeah, that Hernandez card, in my opinion, is a little bit eh as well. I totally agree with that. Uh, so in terms of icon strikers for about three three to 500k is what we're going to set a boundary on because it's not that hard to grind an extra 200k in this FIFA, I feel like, especially with the mad panic that's currently going on with all the players and stuff like that. Um, okay, so all icons. We'll go, we'll go max price. To be a little bit fair, we'll go 450 uh, and see what we're looking at here. Uh, players that I would say are not that bad. Uh, Cliver instantly. I think that that's a good card to try out. Um, I think that, you know, uh, looking at your team, he could add some improvements. I think that uh, Raul could be decent as well. Uh, Crespo, you know, in my opinion, they look like good cards. Stoichkov as well. In fact, looking at Stoichkov is probably the best option here. Uh, I really like Stoichkov this year, but there's a lot of different options you can go with. Um, and also will help you with chemistry as well. Obviously, you're missing out on, on core chemistry here. Get rid of Hernandez, bring in an icon, full chemistry, everyone. Bosh. And the rest of the team looks very nice as well. So that is it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. If you have any feedback, anything you want to see in the episodes, any suggestions, anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below or head to the Discord and let me know on there. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for the epic support. We're almost at 131,000 subscribers. The recent support on the channel has been absolutely crazy and I'm very grateful for that. So thank you all and I'll see you lads later.